Extinguisher. This one is known as a what? A sin. What is the work of a sin? One, it holds the pin in. Secondly, it shows that the extinguisher is not used. We have four. Uh, wait, what are we going to split? I'm going to tell you the camera. I'm going to tell you the camera. Now, mostly, Utapata, when you go to buy a new uh, cylinder, gas cylinder, eh? the one that you use at home, you will find like a plastic, a carapa, on top. Yes. What is that? Yes. That is a seal. It shows what? No, it shows that the cylinder has content, not used. It is not, the, the work of that is not to, 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 to prevent the, the, the gas from leaking. Are you together? So this seal shows that the extinguisher is not used, not tempered. Are you together? Aya, we have this one here. I'll only do this, don't do that. Are you together? We have this, a cup in here. It is known as a safety pin. What is the work of a safety pin? Uh huh. Uh huh. Prevents the movement of the the log. Uh huh. Prevent leakage. It's like the 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 key. It's like a key. Uh huh. So it it does what? It opens or closes. So the work of a, a, a safety pin is to make sure there is no releasing of content unwanted. Are you together? Once you remove this safety pin, you are now good to go. Use this fire extinguisher. Are you together? Once this safety pin is in place, you cannot use this fire extinguisher. A trigger or a what? A lever. Trigger or a lever. So what is the work of a trigger? It allows the content outside the extinguisher when squeezed. Are you together? For you to operate an extinguisher, here is where we squeeze. Eh? This one, the upper one. Are you together? Then we have the lower one. What is the work of this part? Of the, 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 lower, the lower one? Support. Uh -huh. Is the handle, eh? See, me beba ndio muhono ni handle. Guys. It is the handle. This is where we use to do what? To carry an extinguisher. So from today, if I sent you to bring me an extinguisher, don't do this. Are you together? Hey, use the handle to do what? To carry. Hello? Aya, ah, yeah. there is a car watch there. Are you seeing that car watch? Are you seeing that car watch? Yes. What is the name of that, uh, that watch? watch? It is a watch. <laughs> it is a meter. Uh -huh. It is known as a what? A gauge. Are you together? So what is the work of a gauge? Yes? What is the work of a gauge? It's known as a pressure gauge. It measures them. Now, listen. These extinguishers have different contents. Are you together? Of which we will see. After Putting a content inside this extinguisher, we need a propellant. Something that can propel, something that can help the content outside the extinguisher. Now, there is a gas that is compressed in an extinguisher known as nitrogen. Are you together? So the gauge shows the amount of nitrogen inside the extinguisher. 
Hello? Are you together? It is not used to show the amount of content inside the extinguisher. These extinguishers are pressurized with nitrogen. Why nitrogen? Nitrogen is lighter. Are you together? Yeah, they are pressure, uh, pressurized by what? Nitrogen. So, the gauge shows the amount of what? Of what? Nitrogen. nitrogen. The propellant. I'll show you how to read a gauge. Are you together? Are we together? Yeah. Ah, yeah, we have this part here. It is known as a what? A hose. A horse pipe, eh? So what is the work of a horse? Uh -huh. So there is this part here, there is this part here. So this is known as a what? A nozzle. This one is known as a, a hose. So the work of the hose is to allow the content towards the what? The nozzle. Are you together? Hello? Tunashika ama tunashikwa? We are on the same page. What is the work of the nozzle? It gives the content direction. Are you together? The nozzle gives the content direction. Any question to there? Any question? Ah, yeah, we have this part. It is known as? We all know it is a what? A cylinder. So what is the work of a cylinder? It holds the content. It houses the content. Are we together? Then we have the base. This base is removable. You can remove it. So see how the extinguisher looks at the base? Are you seeing? Is it stable? Is it stable? Is it stable? Is it stable? In some percentage. So this one is used to do what? To stabilize the for stability, eh? Yeah, for stability. Are you together? Again, this is where after, uh, after making the, putting the, the hose on the, on the extinguisher, there is a holder here where you insert the what? The, the, the nozzle. Are we together? Yes. Any question to there? Any question? Now, I have like a story. Listen. Before 1997, before 1990, before 1990, extinguishers were in different colors. Raise that extinguisher. Uh, can someone please raise that extinguisher? They have it there. Yes, the black one. So extinguishers were in different colors. You see that extinguisher is black in, are you tired? <laughs> The extinguisher is black in color. There were other extinguishers. There were other extinguishers that were uh, blue in color. The other one were cream. Other one were yellow. Now, in 1997, remember we said we have two standards: the American standard and the British standard. They met and they agreed that we need to be to be on same page. We need to be uh, to have something in common. So they agreed that all fire extinguishers will be red in color. Why? Red is visible. And a smoke. Are you together? Secondly, all fire equipment are red in color. Who has ever seen a fire truck that has Cinderella and Christmas colors? <laughs> no one. So all fire equipments are red in color. And that's why they agreed that fire extinguishers will be red in color. But 
for identification, they said that they must, there must be a part that will be in different color. Kindly, can you check on your fire extinguishers? There is this part here. Are they saying? There is like a box here. Here. Are they saying? Uh, hey, yours is, is in which color? You are in, yours is in? Yellow. I knew. You'll say yellow. <laughs> that is green. That is green. Are you together? Uh -huh. Yours is in? Blue. Yours is in? I knew you'd say white. That is red. Yours is in? Black. That one was for identification. For identification. Whenever you see cream, whenever you see a cream color on a fire extinguisher, that one represents foam. Are we together? Whenever you see a red part on a fire extinguisher, that one means what? Water. When you see blue on a fire extinguisher, that one means what? Dry powder. Are you together? And black is for CO2, carbon dioxide. Then we have the last one, of which I don't have here. It is yellow now, which stands for what? Wet chemicals. Correct. That is not that is not that is not yellow. That is cream. Hello. Yellow, wet chemicals. Yes, wet chemicals. It is a special extinguisher. We will see. Hello. Hello. Are we on the same page? Tunaelewana. Yes. Blue, dry powder. Blue, dry powder. Yellow, wet chemicals. Yellow is for wet chemicals. Black is for carbon dioxide, CO2. Black. Then we have red. Means water. Together. Then we have green, which means foam. 